Welcome back to Trusting Knows with the man that likes to smoke. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling tanta noisy, just smelling. So, we got the harmonist hypnotizing fire. And listen, I haven't been this excited about a fragrance in a long time, but this broke the duct. Hmm. I do pay for the Listen, I need to put you on right now. Right now. <laughs> 10 out of 10 juice, man. Let's fucking go. The Harmonious Hypnotizing Fire came out in 2015. And the top note is pimento. The mid note is Bulgarian rose. And the bass notes are Madagascan vanilla. Indonesian patchouli leaf and a popinax. Before I even get on to the review, let me tell you how I discovered this baby here, yeah? this fine, fine, fine fragrance here. Yeah? So, word of mouth. I was going through the comments now on my Halvetti video and then one guy, God bless him, he said that, oh listen, like, I just tried uh, Halvetti, like, you weren't trying shit, this is good juice. Um, you seem to have a similar taste to me, you're like the harmonious hypnotizing fire, man. It's, it's amazing. So I said, mm, took a screenshot, yeah? I said, Chuk. yeah? It was in my notes. Waited a few days. I said, you know what? Let me go on their website, the Harmonist website, see if I can get a sample, yeah? So I saw that they had the other Parfum and they had the Parfum. So I didn't know which one to get. So I said, you know what? Let me just get both. So I got two samples and I got a third sample, which is Sunforce. But yeah, so whatever now. Samples came quite quickly, um, whatever now. So I'm just opening the boxes now. Just, just did um, one spray of the, of the ADP, yeah? I did shoo, on my hand. I sniffed it. I said, rotted. I'm not even Jamaican. I'm not Jamaican, yeah? I'm not from Portmore, I'm not from St. Elizabeth. You think I don't know about those places, I do. But I'm not from that island. And I said, rotted. This is special. So, I was blown away like, from the first spray. Yeah, decent juice. So let me get onto the actual smell. So this is basically sweet, resinous, and you get this like nice vanilla dry down. So if I'm gonna break it down a little bit more, and a little bit simpler, cause you know, that's, that's what I do. I don't use the big words or jargon or anything like that. I just try and make it relatable. So to me, basically, earthy patchouli in this kind of comes across like a little bit like sweet cement so you get this kind of like almost like earthy sweet cement like opening and you get this nice like slightly smoky vanilla in the dry down beautiful stuff here yeah. beautiful i would say that it's more masculine leaning because of that slight cementy smell in it but i don't get that cementy smell all the time but majority of the time i do so yeah you get that that slight cement you smell gives it that masculine edge, but women can wear it as well. It's like nice and sweet. So I had to sum it up here. Yeah? Sweet, sexy, vanilla? Sweet, sexy, playful, whatever, yeah? Decent juice. So that's with both the EDP and the Parfum, yeah? So with the Parfum, I would say the only difference is just that it's a little bit it acts like a parfum, so it's the exact same smell, but it's denser, it's um, longer lasting, and I'll say it's a little bit more masculine. The EDP, which is this one, is um, area, projects a tiny bit more for a little bit, and then it's more, no, I wouldn't say more feminine smelling, but it's not as masculine as the other parfum, um, as the parfum, sorry. So, must be thinking, oh, right, like, so, which one do you prefer most? I prefer the Parfum, if I'm being honest with you, even though I've got the EDP here. But you think I'm a slow guy, you think it also, if you prefer the Parfum, why have you got the EDP there? Listen, brothers and sisters, you think I didn't come prepared? I've got the 8.5 ounce, yeah, right there. So I've got both. <laughs> All right, so 
let me go on to like where you can wear it, occasions, everything. Yeah. So this is a sexy cold weather date night fragrance. Yeah. This is another one that goes into the fine boy juice category. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> Why for that? But yeah. So literally, like. This is another sexy date night fragrance. You know, my favorite genre of fragrances. Keep on saying this all the time, but you don't seem to listen, yeah? It's date night fragrances. This hits that, um, that category of that genre, yeah? Um, so the performance on the other parfum, I would say it's slightly above average. Um, projects, projects okay. Um, longevity is just okay. So yeah, slightly above average. Um, the parfum, however, I would say that projects equally, but it lasts a long, long time. So consider that before making your decision. So listen, this is not cheap juice. I don't know the price exactly, but you got to try it before you buy it. Yeah. Cause let me keep it honest with you. Yeah. <sighs> With like most of these fragrances and stuff like that, they're less palatable for like the masses. So I've had like, a lot of people do like this on me, but there's some people that don't like it. So bear that in mind. But the people that don't like it, they're not saying that it's a bad fragrance. It's just not to their taste. So it's like, I doubt anyone can say that this is a bad fragrance. This is serious juice. This is going straight into my, I was going to say top five. Yeah, this is going straight into my top five. Top five juice in my collection right now. And one thing I love about this fragrance as well, yeah, even though it's been out since 2015, apparently you called this Fragrantica, it's the fact that it's still like under the radar. Like you can only really get this at like Harrods. So, hmm, what I'll say is just like, it's for one of those, one of those fragrances, like if you know, you know. And I want you to know, that's why I'm here right now. Yeah, <laughs> here right now, really, really giving you passion right now. I want you to know about this, yeah. So the next time you're in Harrods, yeah, or you're on like the internet or whatever, yeah, try and get a sample, or try and get your nose in it somehow, yeah, because literally, like, this is like, it's different. It's artistic, yet it's still wearable. Because I wear most of these fragrances now, I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why, it's niche, obviously. But they've got that artistic aspect, like they've knocked it out of the park there, but actually wearing it, Listen, I can't be, I can't be smelling like a rainforest out and about. Like I don't wanna, nah. But with this one now, yeah, it's got that nice like, artistic approach. Yet yeah, it's still very, very wearable. But I wouldn't say that it smells like a designer or anything like that. But yeah, decent, decent juice. So, listen, yeah, I told you I'm, I'm. I won't say I'm a good guy. But like, I, I, I care about you lot, yeah? I'm one of you. I'm just one of you just in front of the camera. So this is what I'm gonna do, yeah? So I've got samples, I've got my original samples of the other parfum and the parfum, yeah? I'm just gonna give it to one of you guys. So literally, get in the comments right now. Just say if you want it. It's UK only, I'm so sorry, yeah? So if you want it, just let me know in the comments. Um, if you don't, just, just go about your day, but just make sure you like the video too, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, no, so if you want it, just put it down in the comments. I'm just going to put like a random like name generator, um, probably in a week's time and just send it to the lucky winner. So that was my take on the Harmonious Hypnotizer and Fire. I think you should get your nose on this. This is 10 out of 10, top five in my collection. Um, what more can I say? Sweet, sexy, date night. Yeah. I don't know what you want me to do unless you want me to buy it for you but i can't right now i'm so sorry <laughs> so if you like this video please remember to like comment and subscribe It'd be much appreciated also follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok trusted knows and you know what i'm gonna say um more videos out soon and stay blessed i nearly forgot can you imagine <laughs>